Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. Um, I've seen in the news about this terrorist attack that took place in Moscow. Apparently there's uh, over 130 people that have been killed. Uh, in the American news, they're talking about it being ISIS-related, but uh, that's not what the people in Russia are saying. And I'm not saying that they're right, but what they are saying is very significant because it's going to affect all of us. They're blaming Ukrainians. They captured the terrorists, and they say, oh, they've got contacts in Ukraine. It was the Ukrainians. I wonder where this is going to go from here. Thanks for sticking with us. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Um, I'm recording this in the evening on the weekend. If you're wondering, that's... Uh, I don't know when it is that you're watching this, but uh, yes, this uh, this news coming out of Moscow, I mean, it's bad because people got hurt. Nobody wants to hear about people getting hurt, but it's even worse because we're in the middle of this international conflict over in Ukraine that seems to involve everyone in the world somehow. The uh, many, multiple European countries now have uh, expressed that they are going to be sending troops at some point to back up the Ukrainians. The Russians are not backing down, and this certainly is not helping with that situation. Now they have good reason to, I guess, say that to their people, like, we've got to fight this to the end because they're going to be coming in here and attacking us, whether it is or not, whether it really is the Ukrainians or whether it's just crazy ISIS people that decided that they were going to just blow up people because that's what terrorists do. I don't know what the situation is, but in whatever it is, th that's what it is now. It's uh, Ukraine, and well, we are heavily involved in that, and they will definitely be blaming us. I've noticed on Twitter that the CIA has been, I guess, uh, trending in connection with this. So has uh, Moscow and everything else, Putin. Um, you get on there, and it's like I didn't think that the Russian people were on there as much as they used to be. I thought they got cut off from all these American sites, but they're on there, you know, talking up Putin and his speech and all this stuff. Um, this is a this is a very bad turn of events. Like I said, not just because people died in this attack, which is terrible, but also because now uh, it's going to escalate things in Ukraine. Remember, before they were only saying like this is a military action, blah blah blah. They never actually came out and said that this is war. Now they're now it's war. Now I guess they're gonna. Well, I don't know what they're going to do exactly, but it doesn't sound good. Uh, it, it, none of this is going to turn out good. It's going to all be bad. Um, nothing, nothing good comes of people dying. So uh, I, I don't know. I guess be prepared for whatever it is that's going to be coming up. You guys have probably been hearing about this. I, um, I'm kind of kicking myself because I stopped following the news as closely as I used to. And this one kind of snuck in there and I didn't notice it. So you probably heard about it well before I did, but... I, I'm not hearing people talking about the consequences of this. I I hate that we have such a stupid government. I don't think that the United States is involved in the attack. I don't. Um, I don't even know that Ukraine is involved in the attack. But I am I, I'm hating the fact that we have an administration right now that is so stupid and incompetent that they that the Russian government could plausibly say that they had some involvement or were somehow related or funded or who knows what. But we have the stupidest government in the world, and now they've gotten us into this situation where the Russians can make this excuse, if it is an excuse or whatever, to go in full throttle with the war situation, and uh, we're, we're totally unprepared for this, as far as I can tell. I don't know. Maybe there have been some preparations being taken in the background uh, when all of us have been focused on everything else, but um, I doubt it. Um, if it is, that also raises, you know, questions about the situation. But in either case, this isn't going to turn out well. I, uh, I don't know the facts of exactly what happened, whether it's terrorists or what. All I do know is that nothing good is going to come of this. And it would be nice if ISIS was still gone, if they're really responsible for what has happened. Um, what happened? I thought they were gone. <laughs> Didn't Donald Trump get rid of those guys? I guess uh, we've had such a wonderful uh, bit of leadership since Donald Trump has left the White House that uh, even ISIS has been able to, you know, come back from the brink somehow and then pull an attack on, on Moscow so that they would have an excuse to 
escalate the war and the conflict, possibly drawing us into it, whatever it is. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. And uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think about the situation. Uh, that's It's more of a conversation here. Regular people talking to regular people. I have no idea what the military knows. I'll, again, I'll leave it at that. And hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.